Now we've calibrated the worm gun. I've got the right amount of drench in here for this sheep. Now the technique is in the corner of the mouth there, is it? Over the back of the tongue and plunge. It is, yes, that's, that's right. I mean, you've gone into the corner, you've gone down over the back of the tongue and you've got the drench to go right back and the, and the animal's obviously swallowed it all in one go. So that's exactly what we would want you to do. Um, quite a lot of diagrams will show you going at the front of the mouth and of course that's, the sheep's actually got teeth there. I've only got one set of teeth, but it's got teeth there. You want to be in over where there's just gum, in at the side, over the back of the tongue and down yeah. without going through the back of the throat. You want to be careful you don't damage the throat then? very careful and we do see a lot of drench gun injuries not so much in big animals like this but particularly when you're doing lambs um, you need to have a, a drench gun with, with, with a smaller nozzle for doing young lambs and be very very careful because it's very easy to go straight through and when do they spit it out because that happens sometimes is it yeah they do if you don't get if, if you just look at the end of your drench gun there the end of the drench gun is actually designed so that it goes onto the tongue and it, and it really makes the animal swallow because it feels that at the back of the throat now, if you don't get that there, then one of the risks is that, A, the animal just spits it out, but also, if you just get it into the mouth, you can actually get what we call the esophageal groove still to work. Now, that's the groove that, in a, in a young neonate ruminant, works to make milk bypass the rumen, because you want milk to go straight into the true stomach, not into the rumen. That can still be, be affected in an adult animal if you put liquid in the mouth. Now, if that happens, our wormer goes into the lower gut and it isn't in the rumen and it isn't going to do the job. So you're putting this in exactly the right place exactly to get the dog Exactly the going. right place. And, and it's not um, a speed test. It's something you need to take your time with because it is absolutely essential. You get the drench in the right place and you don't do any damage at the same time.